time is for you. You're going to teach about the armor of God, a few points from the armor of God. So you have till 927. Go ahead. Thank you, brother. And uh, um, uh, yeah, it's so exciting for me to talk to young people because I really love teaching. And and I, I, yeah, I wish you 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 are students for me in my class. I, I I'm I'm teaching few classes next month in UC Davis. So I'm always looking forward to uh, teach people because it's fun. But I miss the uh, whiteboard and 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 pen and everything because I like action, going around, jumping around, and talking about things. So anyway, uh, let's try to do it in this way. And I want it to be interactive. So uh, whatever is presenting, I'm presenting over here is just from my thoughts. I've been praying and and thinking and and putting this together. It's a, uh, uh, it's a, it's a explicitly my content, uh, not copied from anywhere. So disclaimers <laughs> there, there and, and I believe like it's a, a spirit of God has uh, g given the guidance for me to come up with this material which I'm sharing over here. But uh, if the, I'll uh, be uh, very uh, happy to get feedbacks and, and inputs from everyone. OK, just a quick re recap and anytime please interrupt. OK, don't feel uh, like this is going to be very, very uh, interactive and I want it to be interactive. So please interrupt this. This is I wanted to go in a discussion mode and not in a preaching mode. So uh, at any point uh, and I, I, I would love to hear all, all of your inputs into this thing. So um, I can see uh, Joshua, Crystal and Olivia, but I don't see um, uh, Jocelyn and Jacob. Are, are you uh, is your cameras on or, or not? It's on. Yeah, mine's on. OK, yeah, I see them. OK, let, let me. Uh, oh. oh, I didn't see them. OK, oh, hold on a second. Give me a second. Why am I not able to see? OK, forget about it. OK, I believe all of you are there and I'm going to keep going. OK, so you can see my presentation here. Let me go back. OK, uh, so quickly a recap on what we have uh, learned in the past weeks, the six uh, um, armors of uh, Christian faith. Uh, that's first is the belt around your waist, breastplate in place, feet fitted, shield, helmet, sword. These are the six ones. And on the right, you see uh, the, what are the functions of these uh, uh, different armors and is jumbled. It's not in, 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 in order. So uh, maybe it's, this is a good exercise to just match up with uh, all these things, all these uh, uh, functions of these armors. Um, and again, again, I'm really excited to talk with you and God has some uh, few months back put this thought in my mind that I should talk to the uh, to the youth because uh, uh, there's so much things like li life teaches you and uh, and so much pressures you go through and then you you think that okay this needs to be um, told to other people how you have to um, uh, 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 behave or, or or tackle situations when you come across in real life and this uh, topic which uh, uh, I was asked to talk uh, and I was so glad because the God put it in my heart that we need to talk to people about these things when you are out in the world so these shields which God has given us or, uh, or Paul is talking about uh, about is something which you have to virtually wear it 24 7 365 every moment it's not something Something which you have going to put it now and put it back and then uh, uh, whenever you need it you put it and and then after some time you want to relax you take it off and and put it on on your in, in your wardrobe that's not how this these uh, uh, armors work these armors you have to these virtual armors 
You have to put it on 24 7, 365, no time to, to keep it aside and relax. And, and, and there is a reason, right? Um, and, and we'll go into that reason why we want this armor. But let's quickly recap on. So the belt around your waist, that that's the belt of truth, right? Belt of truth wrapped around your waist, and and again, uh, this is uh, so important. These each armors have a specific use. Each armors have a specific use. For example, like you cannot have a breastplate of truth. That's not possible. You have to have a belt of truth buckled around your waist, and breastplate of righteousness. And, and it's not you cannot uh, move it uh, according to you uh, how you, uh, you want it to be. It has to be uh, how it has for, for what purpose these armors are made. Those needs to be fulfilled. You cannot use a breastplate for salvation or something else. So anyway, so uh, you, for example, like if you have seen a, 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 a heavy lifting, um, uh, what you heavy weight lifter, you know, heavyweight lifters, they, they lift up this big 500-pound uh, uh, weights and, 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 and then they have to put a belt around their waist, a right? huge belt, you know. And why do they need to put those belts? If you don't put those belts, your bones would start crumbling. You would injure your backbone. So probably Joshua is more aware about how, you know, all those things in athletics, what kind of gears you have to be wearing to prevent yourself from some of those injuries that you uh, can be caused. So this belt is very important. And, and it is especially the belt of truth, right? If you don't have that truth, then uh, you are a fake person. You 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 don't uh, have the ability to stand in this world. So so again, just quick recap on those things. You have the belt of truth. You have the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet fitted. Your feet should be fitted. Fitted with a good Nike shoe. You know uh, why why you need a good quality shoe because. Um, because you have to run a long race, you know. If if you if you uh, put on a waist company shoe, I don't know a Chinese brand something, then uh, then it would uh, it it would break halfway and then you are done. So so anyway, uh, nothing to no, nothing negative about about Chinese brands, but I just wanted to say about something about a cheap brand. Uh, anyway anyway, so you you need to have a very good quality shoes on your feet so that you can keep running and running and running and for what you're running to take the uh, gospel you're running to take the gospel to different places so you need to have anyway so that was that so now we are moving into the three things which i am being, I, i'll be talking today a little detail not too much and again we'll be more interactive the shield the helmet and the sword and uh, so the first question we should ask why we need these armors right and and it's very clearly told uh, as soon as the Ephesians 6 uh, uh, wherever we start that uh, passage uh, 10 somewhere it says that uh, we need these let me pull my we we need these for uh, de de uh, uh, defeating the devil's scheme okay so that's what we need these things. So uh, uh, Ephesians 10, it says that uh, you need these for for uh, standing against the devil's scheme. So that's it. That that's the one one thing that we use the, these uh, uh, the, these armors is uh, is for defeating the devil's scheme. That's all. Nothing nothing else. Nothing else. It's for defeating the devil. And and, and you know one thing. That's the saddest part that the devil is everywhere. So, so if we are not armored with these uh, um, with these uh, um, different uh, arms, then uh, the devil is going to pounce on us, right? So, uh, First Peter five eight says, "Be sober and mindful. Be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devil." devil. And that's so true, you know. As a student, I struggled. I struggled and uh, with uh, everything, with stress, with relationship, with everything, with a relationship with your friends and everything. You, you struggle and, and and acceptance and and everything, everything. There's so many struggles, and that would be something else we we can talk in some other day. But but that's devil scheme, you know. Devils want would devil want to come in uh, quietly, come in and bring you down. How, how he brings you down. 
he'll 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 sow some seed of doubt. He'll 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 say that oh you you are not good. Oh uh, you you uh, you you are not smart. Oh you you are not capable. Uh, oh you you are not doing it right. Oh you should have done in this way. The, all those things they will bring all those things into your mind. And what it does it 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 corrupts you and it it brings you down and it destroys you and that's all the motive of the devil is to destroy you completely and then overtake you and therefore what we need it to uh, need is to always have these armors with us so that uh, anytime the devil comes with its scheme we have one, one of these armors ready to 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 defeat the purpose of the uh, of the uh, devil okay so that's it okay so the first one is the is the shield of faith which we'll be talking about so the shield of faith is used to extinguish the flame Flaming arrows of the evil one. Okay, that's what Ephesians six t tells. The, the shield, shield of uh, faith, uh, faith. Okay, the, that's the main important thing. So we should have the faith, and faith is very simple, right? And faith is defined as uh, uh, confidence in what we hope and the assurance of what we do not see. Very simple, very simple. Confidence, confidence in our God. And we have the assurance that he is going to give us what we need. So that's very simple. There is no confusion about that. Uh, 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 this is our faith. Our faith is in the God and our hope is in the God. And we know that he is going to provide us whenever we need whatever we need. So that's our faith. So, so that's the faith. And what is the use of the Shield, you know, a shield. If you have seen war movies, or something uh, you you put up a shield, right? You put up a shield, and shield is something different from a breastplate. Breastplate, you wear you wear the breastplate, but a shield is kind of a shield. You have hold it in your hand like this. Okay, uh, I hope you are all seeing me. <laughs> you hold it in your hand like this, and uh, the flaming uh, or the arrows come, or somebody hits you with your sword, then you can. Uh, uh, duck yourself or move uh, or protect yourself from the uh, from that uh, um, uh, attack okay that's one purpose of the shield to protect yourself and also it, it can be used to stop and diffuse or 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 you you may want to say uh, scatter or spread um, Let's say uh, you are standing and there's an arrow coming to your friend who is fighting by your side uh, and you're seeing, oh, there's an arrow coming by my friend's side. So, oh, I, I have a shield. Oh, look here is my shield. So what it does? It does. It didn't protect me, but it do, did stop that flaming arrow from going and hitting to my friend. So there's two purpose of this, uh, 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 the shield. One is definitely to protect you, but at the same time, it's going to stop you from uh, diffuse any situation that's happening anywhere okay so what's the relationship between the shield and the faith you know, it's it's it looks like a little different there are two different things uh, faith good shield good what are we going to do with this thing these two different things but here is an example okay and this is very very much uh, i framed it up and this is very practical this happened to me and i thought oh wow there's a good example to show okay so here is a scenario which uh, i want to share with you and maybe this is a time for all of us to get in and start talking okay so my very best friend studying with me comes to me and tells me about these 10 questions which i must study to get a good marks in chemistry so another casual friend who studies with this, uh, my best friend, she she or he gave uh, his notebook to me and uh, said this also have the 10 questions, important question. And I saw that these 10 questions are different from my uh, best friend who gave me the, the, uh, the 10 questions. So I immediately found that, oh, uh, the, my best friend gave me a 10 question, which is different from what I see in the notebook from another friend. And uh, so it looks like my best friend, uh, he, she uh, tried to manipulate and give pass on to me the wrong 10 questions, which were either trying to uh, div uh, divert my attention to different thing or whatever. So here is the scenario. The world is so corrupt and full of evil. And that's very clear. Uh, it's, uh, the scripture says that every inclination of the thoughts of human heart was only evil all the time. Okay, so that the, man is full of evil, and 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 then uh, the the best friend 
what, what was she doing? She is uh, uh, she or he wants to get a better marks uh, and uh, that led to corrupting the friendship. She didn't even think about she or he didn't even think about uh, the 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 um, the uh, uh, the friendship. Hold on a second. OK. OK. Uh, OK. So um, I was seeing your picture all of a sudden it went away. Anyway, so here is it. So um, the scenario is the world is corrupt and this friend comes and gives you a, a, a wrong uh, a question and you are depressed. Why uh, did she do that or why did he do that? And and uh, so uh, so what is the shield of faith? Uh, so my faith and my confidence is, is that my God is going to provide for my needs. OK, that's my faith. OK. So the flaming arrow came from my friend and the flaming arrow was a, a, a deceiving of my 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 faith in her uh, or in him or he or she or whatever it is. So um, that that's 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 the, uh, the that's the flaming arrow. I felt deceived. I, I put my hope in friend that he or she is my good friend and he or she would never do that thing. But that the, and, and that. Uh, that was such a hard, difficult thing for me to accept because uh, that's if uh, that's kind of a, a flaming arrow to me. And and what's my shield of faith? If I'm wearing the shield of faith, I, the, 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 my confidence would be, oh, that's OK. That's that's the flaming arrow which is coming. But my confidence is in my God. My God is going to provide me good marks. So I'm not worried about any of these things and I will be strong in my God. And that's what it, it says. So Isaiah 43, it says that when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. So we know that we are protected. So we know that this is this should not harm. This won't harm us in any way because our faith, our strength and our hope is in God and God is going to take care of everything. So we should not. So the shield of faith is used for extinguishing the flame. OK. <laughs> So my faith is in my God and not in my friend. Therefore, her action should not be paid back or retaliate in, in other way. I'm not going to confront her or her, uh, his action. Uh, and what could be that uh, I, I'll go and fight and say, how dare you did this to me and break the friendship or or I, I start planning for a revenge. Uh, and and uh, and that's that that's would be a worldly way how to manage these things. OK, but if you have the shield of faith, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you not only not confront the situation, but you try to diffuse the situation. You pray for that person. You, you even more love that person. You forget and forgive her. You you help her, that person in, in 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 continually supporting that 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 person. So uh, so uh, I, I I hope um, uh, you guys are getting me. Um, and I'm rushing a little bit, <laughs> but I hope I could have been a little more interactive and. So um, Genesis says uh, the, uh, the Genesis 4, 6, the Lord has, says, then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? So, uh, but what if uh, you do, but if you do not do what is right, sin crouching at your door, it desires to have you, but you must rule over it. So um, what I want to, say over here is uh, uh, if we let our uh, shield down okay and if we try to go along in in the worldly way then then god is telling you that sin is crouching at door it's waiting to pounce on you if you if you don't have the shield of faith then uh, you will be ruled over by the sin so that's the first point OK, I'll take a pause over here uh, and ask you a question. What would be your reaction? Um, uh, and again, a, a very 
clear, uh, truthful answer. What would be your reaction if your friend tries to ditch you and or deceive you in, in something similar way? Or have you ever come across something like this? Olivia, you are going to first going to go first. OK, the question is, uh, what would you be doing if something like this happens? I would have a problem confront the person. And just to say something, I know that what you've done, but I'm not going to just completely break the like the friendship over that. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Olivia. Yes. Oh, sorry. It's Crystal. <laughs> well, I would confront the person and then I would give them the silent treatment and stop talking to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Joshua. I mean, I would try to get them back. So, like, if they're trying to sabotage my grades like that, then I would do it back in some way that I could to get even. You're seeing the spectrum of evil in our family right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but do you think something like this could happen or would happen or can happen uh, in 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 a um, friendship setting? Yeah, definitely. Yes, right. Because it happened with me, and I was thinking like, is it was it a very isolated case, or is it normal with people to behave like that? Yeah. Okay, Jacob, your turn. What would you be doing? I know you're going to do something different. Uh, you know what? I would probably do the same. I would probably confront <laughs> the person and I would probably shun them until uh, that person comes back and apologizes. <laughs> okay. I'm so good. It's all being so, so open and uh, th that's a really good thing. Now, Jocelyn, what do you would do if somebody does that to you? What would your reaction be? Um, I'd probably confront them, but I like low-key would hear because... I wasn't supposed to get the answers from them anyway. You know? Like, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I had it coming, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay. So how, how are the, uh, for the ladies, okay, for the ladies, what would be your reaction when you see a person that you offended, you did something wrong to you? When you see a person, would you have uh, an angry face, uh, a, a normal play face? Uh, 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 would you just give them a cold shoulder? What would be your reaction? Probably a cold shoulder. Uh, same here. Cold shoulder, ignore them, make them feel like Horrible. nothing. <laughs> so you're happy, happy these ladies look at us and they give us a cold shoulder, you know what happened. Man. <laughs> okay, so let's for the time, uh, sake of time, we'll keep moving, okay? Yeah. But uh, again, I think uh, the, the uh, bottom line is uh, when we are wearing this uh, shield uh, of faith, then we should walk in the faith of God. That's the Christian life. It's not simple. It's not easy. Uh, and you, it's that, that's why at the beginning I told like you will come across these situation every day in your life, whether it's as a as a young person, whether it's as a young person in a in a work environment, everything. Okay, let's keep moving quickly so that we can cover some more stuff. Okay, the next is the helmet. Of salvation. Can you see this screen? OK. OK. Uh, so uh, uh, th this is the uh, sh shortest explanation in, in, in the all the six different uh, armors and its uses. Uh, the Paul says, take the helmet of salvation. That's all it says. Take the helmet of salvation. But this is so much important, right? The, the moment we wear our uh, helmet, uh, the moment we keep our helmet down, uh, you know, we see war movies, right? You keep your helmet down. Uh, that's the moment when a bullet strikes your head and lose your precious salvation. So I'm putting it a little more dramatic over here. But that, that that's the that's so critical, right? The helmet is so important at the, any point you cannot uh, keep your uh, helmet down and expose yourself to the devil's powerful blow of doubt. And that's that's exactly the word I want to use is the devil brings in doubt in into your mind and, that, and that's where um, all the problem creates so the, the the one important thing over here we want to understand is like i, I mentioned in the um, at the beginning is that this is the armor which we have to wear 24 7 365 there's no time we can take it off 
Same way, salvation is something which we have received once, we, and it's not something which we deserve or which we get. And and uh, I just want to quickly go through all this. It's a free gift, it's a grace. No one can earn it. No one deserve it. You stand justified. You are made the heirs of the kingdom of God. So so uh, and again, the 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 Titus three three. Three, three to eight describes it very nicely, um, and and all the red highlighted things is what we should be looking at. But what what, what is important over here is the moment we get the salvation, we, uh, we 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 get the deliverance of the sin. Okay, and it opens door for us to join the family of God, to live forever with Him as His children. Okay. So once we 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 have this salvation, we are children of God. And so the helmet of salvation is not exclusively about deliverance of sin or living uh, uh, from sin or living forever, but 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 about living forever as a child of God. So so salvation is something which we cannot earn is something which is God planned for us and once we have it we have it and then uh, and then we 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 get the deliverance of, from sin but but at the end of the day it's about uh, living as the child of God it's about being free from sin and belonging to an eternal family where evil has been banished forever. So we, we, we are with a family, we are in, in God's family and where we have uh, we have said we, like the, the passage over here, we are reborn, right? We are reborn and when we are reborn, we don't want to go back to the things that we, we have done in the past. So, so that's what salvation is. So, uh, with that, uh, uh, I'll quickly uh, 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 get into my second example. Uh, so here is it. My friend and I run a nonprofit Christian organization. We received a charitable gift of $10 million. He said it is right and justified for us to keep $1 million and share it between us because we are doing so much work. So, so my action would be, uh, my Christ saved me and now I live my life for Christ and not f for uh, fulfilling my worldly desire. Therefore, I don't want any part of this money. And my friend insists and says that this is the right, this is right and good. There is nothing wrong in it and would not impact your faith. Remember what happens when you, uh, so, so th th that's it. So, so that's my friend's logic, and that's my uh, my logic. And then uh, what I'm telling you, remember what happens when you indulge, conform to the things of the world, uh, uh, indulge yourself. So, okay. So, uh, for the sake of time, again, I would go back to all of you and and ask this question: What would be your reaction in this uh, uh, th this situation where you all of a sudden have a big amount and then? You can you can you can use that amount uh, for for yourself, but but then um, do you really want something which was not meant for you and and uh, it meant for something else? Uh, but you can use that. So okay, I'll stop there and and check with all of you what would be your reaction to this situation. Okay, starting with Olivia. If it's not meant for me, then I would feel guilty having it. So even though it's a large amount, I'll have to like go with the second or like the first option. Okay. So what about the pressure that you will have? Like it's it's a lot of money, right? You are getting one a five, let's say there's a one million and you can share with your friend, like half a million you're gonna get it. And and somebody says that it's perfectly fine. The tax laws says that okay, you're working and you you can have that, or the everyone says that you are it's okay to have that thing. So uh, I, I, would you still say no to this? Yes. Okay, that's I, great. I, okay. I don't want to have to live under that guilt. Okay. Um, I have half a million dollars, but it wasn't intended for me. Uh huh. Okay. Crystal? <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> I mean, I would like it. If it's okay, if it's legal, I would take it. Yeah. Okay. My conscience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jo Joshua? 
What do you think? I'm allowed to do the same as KP. Okay, like, keep it. It's all legal. I'm allowed to do it, and like I pray about it, and I don't feel guilty about okay. taking it. Then of course I would. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Joshua. Uh, J- Jacob. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't be able to sleep by night if I took it, so I probably wouldn't take it. Okay. Good. Uh, Jocelyn. I wouldn't take it. Okay. Okay. So we 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 have at least here some differences. Okay. That's good. That's good. But I think the point which I wanted to make over here is that um, even if it's legal, even if it's right. We, we we have to take it to the guard and check what's his will uh, about this or what's what's his spirit is uh, um, um, is putting in our heart whether it's right wrong or whether uh, so legalities uh, uh, could uh, be in your favor right there there is a, a legal system which says that uh, homosexuality is okay. Right, there is a legal system which says that uh, f- um, um, says many things which are okay. But for us, uh, we cannot confirm to the things of the world, and that's what is said in Romans 12 too: is do not conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So uh, I would encourage like. Even though this is a great situation, this is an awesome situation, but as a Christian wearing an armor of salvation, um, and helmet of salvation, which we don't want to, we don't want to, we, we can, we, once we have it, there is very less chance we are going to lose it. But at the same time, we can lose it, right? If you, if you get that half a million and then you start indulging yourself with the things of the world and probably uh, there, there are risks where devil can creep into your life through that thing. So anyway, so there's something which I want to just keep you thinking about this thing, but uh, let's move on to the next one one and then we can maybe revisit few 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 of these things okay so um i hope you all can see my screen still so the the last one the sword of spirit which is the word of god and uh, uh the, 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 this is the, the and probably all of you have noticed this thing this is the only um um armor uh, in in the those six one which is used to attack okay there is all the other is a protective gear but this is the only one which you can use it for fighting so uh, and it is again very critical to have this uh, um, a piece of um, armor with you whenever you are out there because uh, our our war is not against flesh and blood right our war is against the um, evil spirit so so we 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 need to have uh, this uh, weapon of uh, uh, sword with us because uh, the, the, we need to fight the uh, evil um, that's out there. Um, so one of the things which we need to understand over here is the spirit of God and the word of God. Okay. Um, when you walk in the spirit of the God, you adjust your frequency you can start hearing things what god is speaking to you and what is what god is speaking to you is nothing else but we call it as the word of god okay so so uh, so what we have to do is being sensitive to hear those things which god is trying to talk to us so we have to be um, prepared we have to be uh, what you know well, uh, in a more technical term fine tune our our frequency so that we start hearing uh, to what god is telling us uh, to say in a situation or not to say in a situation so luke 10 uh, 19 20 say i have given you the authority god has given you the authority to uh, to, to do everything so his authority is with you you so uh, what you need to do is uh, um, is um, utilize that authority when when there is a situation utilize that authority and to utilize that authority you need to hear and you need to know what is god's um, uh, god talking to you so uh, and what god talks to you is the word of the god and the word of the god is the scripture and the bible and 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 and, and uh, if you are uh, deep uh, engrossed and into the word of God, then 
uh, the spirit is dwelling in you and these to go along and in any situation you can you you can overcome the the things of the world you can overcome the powerful uh, bolts of the evil uh, using this uh, uh, spirit of god the word of god so uh, Gen so a little more explanation. Genesis 1, uh, 2, 3 says that the earth was formless and empty and dark over the surface of the deep and the spirit of the God who was over the water. The spirit of the God was all uh, everywhere. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So that was the word of the God, the word of the God, which brought in light and that that's the strength of the word of the god matthew 8 15 we read about the um uh, 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 situation where a centurion comes and tells to jesus there is my servant is sick and paralyzed could you help and jesus say let's go there and say but the centurion says that oh don't no need you you just tell you just say the word and it would be done and he knew this thing the centurion knew that uh, he jesus has to just say that word and his servant would be healed why he knew this thing because he said that i have the authority over my soldiers he has the authority and he 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 says something he commands something and his soldiers are ready to do those things. And same way is this authority of God. The authority of Jesus is, uh, is over everything. And the moment he is, uh, speaks or uh, says that, proclaims that authority, things would be done. So, And Jesus gave that authority to us. Now, now we have the authority to, uh, uh, to use that thing. So uh, I'll keep moving over here. So... Um, uh, what we need to understand is uh, we should uh, have the word of God with us all the time uh, because there would be situations in our life where uh, where we need to make some decisions, when we need to react, when we need to uh, where, where we need to take some action, and in that moment, if we take the wrong decision, if we take the, uh, the decision which confirms to the world, then we probably would be uh, losing stuff, losing the, uh, the authority that is given by God. But if we are sticking to the Word of God, trying to hear clearly what God is speaking to us in that situation and reacting and acting to what the spirit of God is telling us, then we will be very successful in our life. Okay, so uh, we, 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 we all know that all the scripture is God breath and is useful in teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we need to make sure that we are strong in the word of God, in the scripture, uh, uh, any situation come and uh, uh, even in our prayers, right? We have to just uh, use the scriptures and, and, and uh, uh, g g with authority say that God you promised that you are going to do this thing for me and then God is going to listen and God is going to speak to us uh, in the th through his words okay with that uh, my last uh, um, um, example over here or scenario over here is your co-worker is a difficult person to work with and again a very realistic situation he does not finish his work and you have to do it he does it wrong and you have to correct it he talks to people in the office and everyone likes him but you don't get time to go around and make friends in office what would be your reaction first complain about him her to your supervisor or superior make schemes to expose this person confront him ask him to finish his her work make him correct the work which he did you are stressed and would go to your best friend and cry about this situation okay so what would be your reaction i'll go back to all of you and uh check what would be your reaction let me see can you see my screen okay okay so this is a realistic situation which where, where, where you come across in workplace where you have some people who are really difficult to manage and then uh, you, you you are troubled uh, in your spirit what to do how to handle this thing and and as young people um, uh, the, you are going to face this thing whether you are whenever you are going into a professional world you are going to have this 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 thing um, happening to you so okay well start again um, uh, olivia what, what would be your selection uh, from these four like uh, 
if you have a difficult person in your work team, uh, very difficult. And, and I'm really telling you, very difficult. Like I had situations where I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry, and uh, um, and then uh, because it's so difficult, and and, and then uh, and then uh, then what God told me, and, and then I would go to the restroom and then pray to God, like God give me strength to handle this situation, and, and then it, it's nice, it's good, but the 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 point I'm I, I want to tell you is God is there to hear to your cry. Okay, go to God and cry to God. That's perfectly good. But don't cry to a human being, okay? Uh, you, you you can cry to with your mom, with your dad, but don't go to a colleague or or a friend uh, or a good friend or, or a very good friend and and try to share your burden because they are also not going to be very helpful in that situation. They can give you some, work, but definitely go to your God and cry out, and God is going to answer that uh, answer your question. Okay, so here are the four things, Olivia. What would be your your selection? I would go with my um, I would confront him first, and then I would, if he doesn't get the work done, um, then I'd go and complain to a superior. But I feel like going to the root of the problem, which would be him, um, and just telling him that this is how it's going, and I don't feel like he's doing his work well, um, or him or her, whoever it is, um, I would confront them first, and then if they don't do anything, then I'd go complain to a superior. Okay, great. Uh, Crystal. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I would confront them too. Um, you know, make sure that they actually know what they're supposed to do. And I think I would be really patient with them during this time. Yeah. Give them probably like two, three, four chances. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, if they really want to do a good job, I'm not going to just go and complain about them, you know. So yeah. I want to be very gracious in a situation like this. But I do think that I mean, I'm not going to go talk to a colleague, but I'm going to talk to somebody that I think is wise, to, you know, to help me put my headspace in uh, the right place so I can actually help this situation, help this person. So I think I would do mostly three, but then I might have a little bit of four in there too. Okay, great, great. I, I like uh, the, the one word, like being patient. So that's great virtue. Jo Joshua? Um, so I would do number three first. I'd be really nice about it. I wouldn't like forcefully confront him, but I would be really nice about them and just patiently tell them what they need to do and then give them a few times to work on that. And if they don't, then I would tell them I will have to complain about you to a superior. And if they still don't do it, I would complain about them to the superior. And if the superior doesn't do anything about them and I've been talking about it multiple times, then I would do number two. Okay. I would explain that in the box. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, Jacob, I'll go straight to number one. Uh, complain about to my supervisor because um, he'd be wasting my time, and yeah. uh, and uh, my time is my precious time, and I don't want anyone else wasting it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Go straight to the comp uh, supervisor and complain. Okay. Good. 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 Jocelyn. I agree with Jacob. I would go straight to the supervisor if I'm okay. correcting his work. Like that's not my job. So, I would. Okay. I would tell the supervisor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. All good answers. And 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 again, this is like a real life situation. We all are going to face this thing, but be prepared for these situations. And the preparation is in our God. When we are wearing this armors, when we have this uh, um, 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 uh, protective gears with us, then uh, the, the especially the spirit of the God. If the spirit of the God is in us. You should go to the, your father and check his will. You know, in my situation, what happened was I, I was so struggling in my spirit and I was crying out to God, God, relieve me of this burden. And and instead of uh, uh, talking and going around everything, God miraculously solved it. You know, so that was the beauty of our powerful God is if you interest uh, your problems to God, he's going to take over things. So so probably uh, you don't have to complain. You don't have to make scheme. You don't have to confront the person. You don't have to get stressed out. You don't have to do any of these things and your problem is solved. That's that's the beauty of our, our, our armor of the spirit, the word of God. If we wear that thing and go out into this world 
and again the world is corrupt full of evil uh, evil schemes of devil and if you have this this uh, uh, armors of god especially the shield the 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 the, the, the uh, sword and the the the, uh, the uh, other armors then you will be strong with that I, I will just close because my time is over jason brother you want to wrap it up with something Yes, yes, brother. Thank you very much. And that was a very excellent session, brother. I'm so glad that you took the session and, uh, you know, we'll be inviting you even further in the, in, in the future. Um, and uh, good, thoughtful questions we asked to the, to the young people. And I really appreciate all our young people too of being honest in their response. They were not trying to be nice, but they were honest of how they will feel. So uh, very, 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 uh, interactive session, and I'm so glad that uh, you did a good job, <laughs> George, and praise the Lord for that. You know, one thing that we know, this armor of God, you know, the sword of the spirit, it is the word of God, and the word of God has to be used, so the word of God has to be within us. We cannot fight, we cannot, we cannot open the Bible and look for a verse when the enemy is trying to attack us. That means what? Mm -hmm. The word has to be within us. It says, I have hidden your words in my heart so that I may not sin against you. When see when Jesus Christ was tempted by the devil, he used the word of God, his own word, he used the scriptures. If it was essential for Jesus to fight against the enemy by using, quoting scriptures, how much more is it important for us to quote scripture? Now, Jesus did not run after a Bible, open a Bible to look at it. It was within him. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we all have the word of God within us. So that's why I have requested, I've asked our young people to memorize Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 18. I hope you're doing it. Next Sunday morning, we are going to find out how many people have memorized it. I've at least given you a few weeks. So There's one more week I'm giving you. So we'll go through round and round. We'll go around and everybody is going to say it. So Jocelyn, you're shaking your head, but you're going to learn it. You have one more week. <laughs> so yeah. So let's let's I'm practice. I'm sure it. all of you have learned it by now, right? This is yeah, a they, very they common one. They have, it, they have it. I've not tested it yet. And uh, next yeah. week, see, all these armors are either you wear it, you hold it in your hand. But there's one more thing after this that is the prayer. Okay, prayer is practice. Okay, it is nothing you wear. But that prayer is what holds these armors together. You may have all the armor, but if you may have no prayer, then you can't do much, right? So prayer holds, it is that thread that ties all these armors together. And we got to pray in the spirit. So that's what I'm going to take next time. Lord willing, whenever that happens, I do not know. Probably next Sunday. But that's, what we're, that's what's going to happen, okay? So again, George Paul, thank you very much for a beautiful session with the young people of our church. And it was very good. You did an excellent job. I know you are a busy man, a lot of work at uh, work. And out of that, you took a little time out of your busy, busy schedule and prepared these things for the young people. And I'm sure they are very blessed to hear you speak. So with that, we are going to close. Uh, Jacob, would you close in prayer, please? Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord. Thank you for this day, Lord Jesus, that you gathered us together, Lord, for this youth meeting, Father. I pray for uh, um, George Paul Uncle, Lord. Thank you for giving him the opportunity to speak to us, Jesus. And we pray that what he said, Lord, we pray that we would apply it to our hearts, Jesus, Lord, and that we would learn from it. Lord, we pray for the service. We pray for the youth Sunday. We pray that we would do everything to glorify your name and your name only, Lord. In your name we pray, amen. Amen.